Should be able to read that. Still aiming on keeping us holed up, eh? That's what it says. Well, you know it ain't legal, don't you? Folks have been bringing their stock through here for years. It just ain't right. Well, this says it is right. Now get out of here. Sam, you've been at this lion shack long enough. Don't you think you ought to go back to the ranch? I'm staying here until we get those horses through, and that's final. Oh, here comes the deacon. are still closed. How are the provisions holding out, Colonel? Oh, swell, swell. We got plenty. You mean we have just about enough to last a day or two, is that it? Well, that is if we don't go back for second. There must be some way to get our stock through that pass. How about seeing the sheriff again? We ought to be able to think up some kind of a law to make Oliver tear that fence down. Wait a minute. You know better than that. You know the sheriff. He's just like everybody else. Doesn't want to take on any more trouble than he has to. What do you suppose gets into men like Oliver? Just plain, ordinary meanness? And greed. He's the kind of a man that ain't satisfied with a piece of pie. He wants the whole chuck wagon. And speaking about pie, don't. We can't even afford to think of luxury. Oh. You know, it's mighty nice country around here, Lucky. I think I'm going to like it. I'd like it a lot better if I had something to eat. How about settling for a little water? Thanks. Say, how much further is it to this new ranch of yours? Well, according to Oliver, it should be in this next canyon, right in back of that range. You know, it's a funny thing. Huh? What's that? You've never seen your stepdad before. Oh. Well, I never thought much about it until I got this. How come you never met him? He married my mother after I left home. That was back in Clark County. And then after she died, why, well, he wandered on out here. Sounds like a mighty nice fella, giving you half finish in that ranch. No, well, I hope so. But there still might be a catch to it. It's good. Is that them? Could be. I never saw them before.
looks like we ran smack into the middle of a war. I'm a peaceful man. I suggest we take the scenic route. Must be a couple of Oliver's men. Well, what are we waiting for? Here they come. Head for the rocks. They went into those rocks. to know what they're shooting at us for. Do they have to have a reason? According to law, yes, and I'm going to find out what it is. How? Oh. Well, first, let's hide these horses, and then I'll tell you. your buddies. Hey, what is this? You got an open season on strangers, or are you and your pals just plain gun happy? Get him up before I drill you full of holes. Get his gun, Deke. Nice neighborly country you got around here. I met two different parties today, and both of them have been throwing lead. Oliver's men have got orders to shoot on sight. Naturally, we feel the same about them. Well, what's that got to do with me? Well, you're an Oliver man, aren't you? Mister, I wouldn't know the man Oliver if I fell over him. My friend and I were out riding looking for a job. Thought we might tie up with some outfit around here. He must be telling the truth, Colonel. I've never seen anyone like him around here. <laughs> Is that good or bad? Give him back his guns, Deacon, and go call off the boys. Tell them in the future to be more careful what they're shooting at. I, uh, I'm sorry my men caused all this trouble. Well, now, miss, seeing as how they're such poor shots, I'll kind of overlook it this time. You're very kind. Colonel, you told me you could use a few extra men, at least until we get through that pass. Can you handle them six guns, or do you just wear them to keep you balanced? I get by. That other fella don't want to give himself up. He thinks it's a trap. <laughs> That'll fetch him. Well, are we hired? If that's what she wants, she's the boss. Come on, Deke. This is my friend, Lucky Hayden. As long as you're going to work for me, we might as well become acquainted. I'm Ann Green. These are my foreman, Colonel Pat Higgins and Deacon Hall. Did you say work? That's right. For the little lady here, who incidentally I haven't met formally. Well, pardon my manners. This is Miss... Uh, it is Miss, isn't it? This is Miss Green. This is Shamrock Ellison. It's an honor. You know, we've worked for a lot of mighty nice people in our day, but we've never worked for anyone prettier. Have you ever done any detective work? I, um, I can't say that I have, but... I'm willing to try anything once. Uh, come along. I'll tell you about it. Have you ever done any detective work? Well, I can't say that I have. But I'll try anything once. Oh, bless my soul. Oh.
your deal. It's a Brady boys. Hello, Ed. Hello. Tom. Hi. Just dropped in to have a little chat with you, Mr. <laughs> Oliver. <laughs> By the way, how is the old codger? Taking it easy in his private quarters. What we come to see you about, I'm looking for some more gunslingers to help us hold that pass. More? Yeah, we heard the green outfit put on two more new men yesterday. Looks like they're fixing to give us a real war. They might even rush the pass one of these nights. <laughs> Let them try. That woman can't do anything in the few days she has left. I don't know about that. I'd sure hate to lose getting that land. It's one of the best grazing sections in the state. All right. I'll put more men on. When will they get paid? End of the week? By that time, we'll have enough cash to buy up every man in the country. Hey, Ed? <laughs> Some barricade, ain't lucky? Yeah, looks like your stepdaddy's a mean old man. Oh, about this stepdaddy of mine. Let's keep that under our hats for a while, shall we? I'd kind of like to size up this left-handed kin of mine. Maybe get his side of the story, too. Anything you say. I've never seen him before. If it's the law, I'll remember who you are. If it's not, I'll take care of myself. Hold it, you two. What are you snooping around here for? We're looking for Henry Oliver. Is this his place? He rode into town. And if you take my advice, you'll ride off someplace, too. Thanks, friend. Your stepdaddy must have changed his mind about you. Since they weren't expecting the prodigal son. They'll be looking for the old man in town. You two better drift on down there and try to find what kind of a game them strangers are playing. All right. Spanish steak, smothered with onions. Lots of onions. Keep the pretty girls away from us. Well, sit right over there, and I'll have them for you in a few minutes. Don't bother to cook them. Just bring them in, warm them up a bit. Oh, uh, say, Barkey. Yeah? A man by the name of Oliver ever come in here? Almost every night. Well, if he shows up tonight, point him out to me, will you? Sure. Have you heard from the new man? Not a word. I don't trust them two boys, in spite of their nice clothes and fine manners. Well, let's ride in town and talk to the sheriff. Maybe he can tell us something about them. I ain't it yet. Oh, that can wait. I'm going with you. Your what? Saddle my horse. I'll be right out. Two 
too. Great. Ed wants to know what their game is. From the looks of that one, I'd say it was poker. Hey, what's the matter with this deck? Doesn't it have any picture cards? Three ladies. Well, count me out. I've had enough. It looks like I'm going to play me some cards. It'd be a shame to have him blow town with all that money. Evening, fellas. Open game? Open game. Mind if I sit in? Help yourself. Looks like you're making a killing. Oh, just passing the time. Give me uh, 500. Can I bring you a drink, Mr. Oliver? Yeah, the usual. Aces up. That's good. Thank you, boys. Let's go in the back. Passing up four of a kind. I had a hunch you knew my hand. Are you accusing me of cheating, you? Stay where you are, everybody. Follow me. This way, Shamrock. Strangers killed Oliver in a card game. Where are they? They beat it out the back way. That's him, Sheriff. Looks like we're the Brady boys. I want every available man to join me in a posse. Meet at my office in five minutes. Two new cow hands, Miss Ann. Are you sure? I'd recognize that Indian outfit anywhere. What's more, do you see who they're riding with? The Brady Boys. The tougher bunch that I've seen since Tombstone. Come along, we're wasting time. It appears that those two fine gentlemen are up to no good. Please, Colonel, haven't I got enough trouble? For goodness sake, Grandpa, put that gun away and come eat your dinner before it gets cold. The sheriff just stepped out. Doing a little job. I don't know when he'll be back. I know. Uh, what I really came to find out, could you tell me where I could find Mr. Lane, the gentleman who's buying up livestock for the U.S. Army? No, couldn't tell you where you could find him right now, but I could tell you where you could find him tomorrow morning. Where? Here. He's setting up temporary quarters in this office with the sheriff. 
Oh, thanks. We'll be back in the morning. We'd better see if we can find space in the hotel. It's all the same to you, Miss Lena. I'll bunk me down in the livery stable. More like the comforts of home. <laughs> Maybe you don't know it, pal, but that fellow you shot in the saloon was Oliver. Oliver? You mean I shot your stepdad? All right, you two. It's time to go. Gee, I'm sorry, Shamrock. I didn't know. I saw him cheating and go for his gun. I'm not blaming you. We'll talk about it later. Holy jumping up. Must have cut over the hill to the Brady Ranch, back a ways. You, Sheriff. Come on in. What's up? We want the two strangers you're hiding here. You've got the advantage of me, Sheriff. I don't know what you're talking about. The two men that shot Oliver were seen riding out of town with you and your brother. Well, it must have been four other guys. I left town over three hours ago. Been trying to get some sleep here till you come along. Go ahead. Look around if it'll make you feel any better. Scatter the men. See what you can find. And check the corral. See if any of those horses have been ridden to a lather. Well, I'm mighty sorry, boys. But I guess somebody must have been throwing me a false lead. Oh, that's all right, Sheriff. Always glad to oblige. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Get them guys out of the storm cellar. They must be kind of cramped up. <laughs> All right, boys, search them.
You boys cooked up about as fancy a little scheme as I've ever heard of. I couldn't have done better myself. You're way ahead of us, friend. That's right. Ed Betty makes it his business to always keep ahead of everybody else. What he got us on the griddle for? We've got no beef with you. If I'd have had any sense, I'd have turned you two over to the sheriff. We shot Oliver in self-defense, and you know it. Sure, I know it. But what do you think it would look like if you boys went to trial? There ain't a judge or join the state that wouldn't believe that you didn't kill your own stepdaddy just to hog his whole estate. We didn't know it was Oliver. Oh, come now. Do you boys expect me to believe that a man don't even know his own stepdaddy? Let me tell you. We get your point, mister. What's on your mind? Just this. I done you boys a little favor tonight. Now you're going to do one for me. I happen to know that Ann Green... But, Mr. Lane, there must be someone... I'm sorry, Miss Green, but I can't extend the time. I've got to close shop and head back east tomorrow noon. If you can't have your stock at the siding by then, I just can't do business with you. Are you sure there's no other way you can get those horses through? Oh, we could bring them around by horseshoe, Ben, but that would take two weeks. And you heard what Mr. Lane said. Say, I've got an idea. Now that Oliver's dead, wouldn't that make a difference? He's right. If he's not alive, how can he keep the pass closed? Hey, golly, I think you've got something there. We can knock that fence down and get the herd into town by dawn tomorrow. Will you back us up in that? Seat? I certainly will. I don't see that you're breaking any law. Oh, Good. Colonel, you're wonderful. Oh, how about me? <laughs> Be seeing you tomorrow morning, Mr. Lane. All right, man, tear it down. We've got a legal right to tear this barricade down. The sheriff's orders. I'm working for Brady's. Brady's orders that nobody goes through. I'll give you just 30 seconds to clear out of there or we'll open fire. We better be getting you out of here, Miss Ann. No, no. we'll stay and fight. Make up your minds down there. The fights are clearing out. I can't fight with no women around, Miss Ann. You better go. And lose my ranch? Don't be silly. Take your gun, Beak. Now get over here. Stay. girl can get herself killed that way. Brady says not to shoot unless you have to. Well, they open fire on us first. I'll handle it. That was a fool thing to do. You... You're even worse than Oliver and Brady and all the rest of them put together. This is not getting us any place, Miss Ann. Come on, men. Ride back a ways with them and see if they get out safely. And while you're about it, try to square us. Where are you going? I'm going to ride around the Oliver place. See if I can find out where I stand. See you later. I'll ride along with you. See that you don't get any ideas. You're a good man, Pete, my boy. Hold on the fort. Wonder what Ellison's up to, riding off by himself. Why don't you find out? I think I will.
gone lame. Do you mind if I take a look? No, go ahead. I've been waiting for a chance to talk to you, Miss Green. Shamrock and me are on your side. Why, Mr. Hayden, that's so sweet of you. It's important that you get your horses through, isn't it? That's my business. Well, if you'll tell us how much time you've got, maybe we can help you. Mr. Brady would like to know that, wouldn't he? Please, Miss Green, I'm serious. I don't need your help. Maybe you don't. One thing you don't know, that no good crook was Shamrock's stepdaddy. The Oliver place now belongs to Shamrock. All he's got to do is prove it. Clean up that dirty mess his stepdaddy left behind. Okay, Miss Ann. in the town and get the sheriff. He'll take this killer at the line shack. Don't go for the sheriff. What? This man's no killer. He was trying to help us. You go for the sheriff like we said. And I said you stay with us. You've got us into enough trouble this afternoon, young lady. And, and now you're being taken in by a slick trap. And we're not going to let you do it. For the last time, get going. You're fired, the both of you. I'd like to take you across my knee. If you, if you was my daughter and not my boss, I'd, I'd do it too. Pick him up, boys, and throw him on that horse. You get up here and get on your horse, or I'll do to you what he said he'd like to do. You know that we're doing this for your best good, Well, Ann. sure we are. Bring him inside, George. And 
And Miss Ann, don't get any foolish notions about untying him. He'll get a fair trial. And let the law decide how true that yarn is that he told you. I'll be good, Colonel, I promise. See you first.
What do you got? Fair jacks. <laughs> Four sixes. That's 20 you owe me. All right, you'll get it. Deal of cards. Is this a closed game or can anyone get in? On your feet, boys. I hate to put you just to any unnecessary trouble, but I want you to tie him up. Go on, hurry it up. You'll have to do better than that, boys. I'm in a hurry. Easy, old timer. Everything's going to be all right. Who are you? Henry Oliver. Henry Oliver? Well, what about that other fellow who said he was you? Well, that's a... Uh, that must have been Knowlton. Well, how come everyone in town thought he was Oliver? Well, they... They'd never seen me. The Brady gang grabbed me as I was going into town for the first time. But I... I've never seen you before. You can't be one of the gang. No, I'm not. My name is Shamrock Ellison. Sh Natalie's boy? Yeah, that's right. But I still can't understand why you're still alive when they had an olden taking your place. Well, the first thing we have to do is clear out of here and get you some decent grub. Come on. Later on, we'll tell your story to the sheriff. Can you make it? Yeah. Come on. You tried too hard to shake Pete, mister. I figured you'd be up to something like this. Oh, there never was any $35,000, eh, Mr. Oliver? Well, at least we won't have to worry about that anymore. Well, Tom, I guess we'll just have to be satisfied with this place and the Green Ranch. You'll never get away with a grab like that. You don't know it, mister, but before your pal killed the guy that was supposed to be him, we got ourselves a will made out. Leaving everything to me. It's a forged job, but uh, it'll hold up. Ah, what's the use of telling him all our business, Ed? Let's get him out of here and get it over with. All right, start walking. I'm going to let you two dig your own grave.
Where's Shamrock? Where's Shamrock? Brady's got him out back. Come on, get a move on. We haven't got all night. That'll be deep enough. All right, Thomas, get it over with. Step over there. You take the old one. I'm with a bright boy for myself. What about Ann Green? She didn't tell me herself, but overheard a couple of her boys talking. They have to get the horses into town by noon. It's almost dawn. That doesn't give us much time. Who's this? I'll tell you later. Let's go. As soon as you're out the sheriff out of bed, tell him the story and then have him send us some help. We've got to get moving. Got a match? I still don't know why you're using dynamite. I probably could have pulled that out with my horse. Listen, this is quick and sure. Dig out, we're going through. We're going out and pick up the Brady clan. Take the herd on in. I'll handle them. 
Mike Ellison's making a run for it. Let's go after him. You boys go get the herd. Take care of his partner. We've got two crooks just stole our herd. What two crooks? Shamrock and Lucky. How long ago? About an hour. We've got to get in town and get the sheriff. Shamrock. Last time I saw him, he's acting as a decoy for Tom and Ed Brady. I better go see how he's doing. Here's one of them, Sheriff. The other one's back there a ways. Say, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be driving the herd back to town. Well, I was worried about you. They can wait. That's what you think.
There you are, gentlemen. It's been a pleasure to do business with you. Well, thank you, sir. <clears throat> Don't you sign a thing, Mr. Lane. These two sidewinders are selling you a stolen herd, and I can prove it. Why, Miss Ann, I didn't know those horses were stolen. Shut up, you. Mr. Lane, these men... What was that? <laughs> Lucky's right, Miss Ann. We don't like to deal in stolen property. What's all this? Miss Green, if you can't give legal title to these horses, that bill of sale is no good. You mean... Were these two gentlemen selling my horses for me? Sure, that's right. I tell you what, Miss Ann. If you were to tie in with my stepdad and myself, we'd have the finest spread of cattle in this county. Excuse me. In that case, Miss Ann, you're going to need someone like me to look out after your interest. Well, in that case, the only thing left for me to do is to marry this young lady. I'll drive you clear out of the territory. Oh, yeah? And I'll break every bone in your body into little tiny pieces. Yeah? And I'd like to see you try. How many little pieces? Why, I'll take every... Why? Why? 